Hello, today I have a haul for you. Now you might notice that in the title it says June-ish. That's um, simply because most of the things here were bought in June, but a couple of the books in the haul were bought closer to the end of May. Just a couple of them. Um, so yeah, let's get started. The first book in this haul is the book that I am currently reading and loving, Game of Thrones, a, a Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, G. R. R. M. as he is often referred to by. Um, I've got this fancy cover. Um, how to how to describe a Game of Thrones? Wow, it's complicated. There are eight character perspectives. Um, let's see if I can remember them all. I'll be really impressed if I can. Right, there's Jon Snow, my favourite. Um, there's Tyrion. There's Arya, Sansa, N Ned, Catelyn, Daenerys, and Bran. Okay, I got them all. Um, there's a kingdom called Westeros. There there's the north, there's the south, there's the wall and there's what's beyond the wall and it's very very complicated. Um, Ingrid's video, I'll link, um, I linked this in my discussion of the first series of the TV show. I've now finished like season four of the TV show now. Um, so I'll link Ingrid's video because she reviews it so well and she gives me like a really good idea of what's going on because it's just so hard to describe. So next up is the most exciting thing in this haul and that is City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. I got this on the day it came out, the 28th of May. It came out on the 27th in the US but because I'm in Britain then we have bank holidays. Well I'm sure everywhere else has bank holidays but we had a bank holiday at an inconvenient time. It had to be released on the 28th. How, oh god, like, I don't know whether to just, like, describe the first book or describe this book, and it's, uh, Shadowhunters, that's what the series is about, they are, I'll just sort of go into a brief, like, synopsis of what Shadowhunters are about, they are half humans, half angels, they hunt demons, they have these things called runes on their arms, which are like tattoos, which give them special powers, you know, strength, agility, sight, you know, speed, that kind of, you know, useful battle things. Um, we have our main characters being Clary Frey, um, a, a girl who found out she was a shadow hunter but had grown up in the mundane world. Jace, a boy who has known he was a shadow hunter all his life and is, oh my god, I love him almost as much as I love Will Herondale. Um, there is Simon, my favourite character, Clary's mundane friend, um, who is just human. Um, and then there is Isabel, she's like a really sassy girly girl, well, girly girl, she's like into makeup and stuff, but Clary's not. And then there's Alec, a gay shadow hunter, and then there's Magnus, a gay warlock, and like, oh my god, shit. Um, it's a really bad synopsis, but a lot of people have read it. Um, I go to a different video if you want a decent synopsis. So the final book in this book haul would be The Hundred by Cass Morgan. Now I am an absolutely huge fan of the TV show which just finished. It's actually coming to um, England. I watched, I don't know how I managed, I, I got the episodes somewhere um, as they were being aired in America but it's um, E4, a big channel in the UK, bought it and they're going to show it in the UK. Um, on the 7th of July they started watching it, so if you're in the UK, watch out for that. Um, 
the TV show is a lot better than the book. You're all gonna like, I can just feel you all judging me through the computer screen right now, but um, <laughs> honestly the TV show is a lot better. I gave this three stars. Um, the TV show is literally like second to Doctor Who. I am Doctor Who obsessed. My school bag has a TARDIS on it. Um, basically, there was like a big nuclear apocalypse, but Fortunately, up in space on some international space, on some like different country space stations, there were living people. So the, all the space stations came together to form the colony, as it's called in the book. It's called the Ark on the show. And they've all lived there for several hundred years, I think. Yeah, a few hundred years, I think. Um, and on the colony, most I think all crimes are punishable by death. Um, so you get floated, which is where they just put you into the airlock chamber and then they open the door and you're released into space, you die. It's the death sentence. But if you are under 18, they will put you in confinement because they don't believe in giving the death sentence to children. 100 of these prisoners are sent on a dropship back down to Earth to see because they were told they needed an extra hundred years before they went back to Earth, but they're running out of time and they want to send the prisoners down to see if Earth is inhabitable. So there are four um, character perspectives. First is Clark. She is the daughter of two leading science scientists on the colony. Um, who were floated and she was in confined and she is on the earth mission Wells he was in love with Clark and he got himself imprisoned so he could go down on to earth with Clark his father is the Chancellor the main like top dog on the colony there is Bellamy my favorite character um, he got himself a place on the dropship by shooting someone um, so he could look after his sister Octavia who had been sent down to earth and finally there is Glass which is a stupid name I hate that name um, she was one of the 100 prisoners going to be sent down to Earth but during a distraction she managed to run off and go to her ex-boyfriend's house because she didn't she was too scared to go down to Earth she didn't want to go so yeah that's pretty much the synopsis of the book again watch the TV show it's it's even it's great I have some jewelry from Etsy to show you first off I shall show you my favourite piece which is this clockwork angel necklace obviously inspired by clockwork angel from Claire Sandra Claire's Infernal Devices series um, it is a necklace that the main character Tessa is always wearing she wears all the time um, secondly the other piece of jewellery from Etsy is a Morganstone ring inspired by the Mortal Instruments series. Clary wears it all the time as it was given to her by Jace and she wears it on a string like this. Uh, it's just a run of the mill Morganstone ring. Or is it a Wayland ring? Um, yeah, so please look at that. I don't know if that's gone out of focus or whatever. So yeah, that's everything in the haul. Let's just recap. We had The Hundred by Cass Morgan. We had Half Bad by Sally Green. We had City of Heavenly by God, that's heavy, by Cassandra Clare. A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. A Morgan Stern Ring. And a Clockwork Angel. Did the charm just fall off? No everything in my haul so you'll see me next time if you bother to tune in cheerio